Here is normal skin in the bottom field. Please notice we have a loose papillary dermis, a thicker reticular dermis, and all of the classical layers of the epidermis from here to here. It is not uncommon for the papillary dermis, uh, which is rich in blood vessels, to also have some occasional uh, inflammatory cells scattered here and there, macrophages, perhaps a neutrophil, a couple lymphocytes here and there. This is a normal population for uh, uh, inflammatory cells of the dermis. Let's take a look at this uh, skin lesion on top, however. In fact, let's take a look at it by itself. Here we have it. Uh, this was a purplish uh, lesion, perhaps looking like a petechiae, that was cut right down the center. So there's one half and there's the other half. Notice in this particular uh, skin biopsy that there is more than just an occasional scattered inflammatory cell in the dermis. There appear to be large numbers of them here all throughout here, here, here. This is a inflammatory skin lesion. Not only is it an inflammatory skin lesion, but the part of the skin that appears to be the most inflamed are parts of the dermis, like perhaps here, that are surrounding blood vessels. So this is a vasculitis, isn't it? It's a dermal vasculitis. This is a particular type of vasculitis of the skin, which is called leukocytoclastic vasculitis. Leukocytoclastic vasculitis means the inflammatory cells are broken, they're clastic, they're cleaved, they're chopped up, they're fragmented. That's why a lot of these infiltrates look a lot smaller than cell. It's because they are fragments of nuclei. And also notice, that the inflammation is chiefly perivascular, like around this blood vessel and like around this blood vessel, although the inflammatory cells are also scattered throughout uh, other portions of the dermis itself. The epidermis, uh, you will see, doesn't look terribly bad. This is a normal epidermis. Leukocytoclastic vasculitis is really kind of an obscure disease still. It is seen in association with bacterial infections, autoimmune disease, drugs. But the fact is, uh, at least half of these cases, the etiology is completely unclear. But from a morphologic uh, definition, a leukocytoclastic vasculitis would be a vasculitis within the skin in which the surrounding uh, leukocytes or neutrophils are fragmented, the nuclei are shattered. Like there's a portion of one, there's a portion of one, there's a portion of one. These uh, nuclei you see here are not whole, they are fragmented, they are claced. So leukocytoclastic vasculitis, and thank you very much.